There is a fire that comes when that which you are is allowed to come out. And it can be uncomfortable, but it's a lot more uncomfortable being stuck inside. One of the things that keeps it stuck inside is the experience we have of shame. And once you feel ashamed, then you feel shameful for being ashamed. And it is an ongoing, exponentially growing disease. And the only thing that allows it to be burned up and denied is the revelation of yourself. That might sound incredibly simple, but it is amazing how much we have in the world that has told us we are supposed to be ashamed. How do you ac access the angel within a child without um, giving them discipline that involves making them feel guilty or shameful for the way in which they're behaving? I've explored it in myself with children because I certainly don't want them to be burdened with shame and I also want that angel out. I want them to be able to reveal who they are and know that there are ways to be with other people that aren't necessarily appropriate so that if you're inappropriate you should feel shame. But because you're a creator, there's a way to be a creator on this earth as a human being. More atmosphere of invitation to be yourself. We've been associated with ourselves as being our personality or the way in which we were raised in a culture. And, you know, personality has gotten a bad rap, I believe, because we are differentiations of this wonderful spirit of the womb and the wonderful spirit of God. And personality isn't, to me, the same as your ego. The, your personality is the wonderful, spicy, flavorful way in which you can express yourself and create. I'm talking about the true happiness of being yourself and finding yourself in the collective of being that is all of life. Ah, oh, doesn't that feel good? <laughs> to even think you could do that and then to start doing it and see what has to burn away It is the true coming forth of the angel, the being you are. And there is design and flow and beauty and wonder. So how, how are you guys doing inviting people to do this with you? Hmm? Hmm? Anyone? How are you doing? This isn't shame time. This is how satisfying it is to know that because you're doing it, other people get to be with you in doing it. And you get to have friends like you've never known before. Friends that would never leave you because they're part of you. If we can assist a child to let the angel come forth, we can assist Everyone, because that the, if the person is still alive and present, that angel is still pouring out, even though it might be sabotaged with the shame or fear that you might be feeling about it. This earth was designed to be a joyful garden. And we use that expression, the garden is eastward in Eden, as if it was someplace long time ago. It's coming through. That's what eastward in Eden is. It is coming through as the angel is allowed, as the being is allowed to be present.